This is The Cosmic Prayer by Heinz Grill. Do feel free to join in. The beginning lies in the readiness to grow to a flower wide open to the light turning to the centre in appreciation and devotion. The beginning lies in the readiness to grow to a flower wide open to the light turning to the centre in appreciation and devotion. The beginning lies in the readiness to grow to a flower wide open to the light turning to the centre in appreciation and devotion. The beginning lies in the readiness to grow to a flower wide open to the light turning to the centre in appreciation and devotion. The beginning lies in the readiness to grow to a flower wide open to the light turning to the centre in appreciation and devotion. Hi, welcome to another study and practice video. I'm Karen from Yoga in Somerset and today we're going to be working on the Cosmic Prayer, this beautiful sequence of movements and words composed by Heinz Grill. And as a source of inspiration, we're going to be working with this little booklet, The Cosmic Prayer by Heinz Grill, which is available from me and the link is written in the text underneath this video. So the aim of the Cosmic Prayer is to explore the relationship between our own self and the cosmos. It can be summed up by a sentence on the last page of the booklet, which I'll read. It goes, the cycle should lead to the forming of self through knowledge of the personal and of the cosmic experience. So in this video we're going to explore both the personal experience and the cosmic experience and we're going to do this with the help of seven different sentences taken from the seven different gestures and also we're going to do seven other yoga asanas to help you conjure up your own feeling for the meaning of each of the individual um, gestures. So let's start straight away with the first sentence. The first sentence comes from the first gesture and it goes, the microcosm stands in a constantly fluctuating and working connection with the macrocosm. And we'll begin our cycle with the St. Andrew's Cross. Take your feet so they're a little bit more than hip width apart. And take your hands so that they're the same distance apart as the feet. Let your breath flow. And be aware of your hands reaching into the macrocosm, the vast space of the cosmos like sensitive antennae. The microcosm represents our own individuality, our own body and our own self. And in this position you can become aware of the centre 
of the cross, just below the heart centre where the two diagonal lines intersect. The microcosm stands in a constantly fluctuating and working connection with the macrocosm. Come up onto your toes. The microcosm stands in a constantly fluctuating and working connection with the macrocosm. Come back down again and lower your arms and close your legs. The first movement in the cosmic prayer cycle is with the right hand held in the left and the gesture is, has the words, the accompanying words, the beginning. And in this gesture, we can also stay with that idea. Our own microcosm stands in a constantly fluctuating and working connection with the macrocosm. And release your hand gesture. Our second gesture is connected with the form that the body takes. And our quote goes like this. The body is not created from the physical realm, but from the form giving forces of the universe. So for this, we're going to do a couple of movements where we produce a very clear form in the body. Come into a kneeling position. We're going to create the form of a vertical line Take your hands up and imagine a vertical line with a very clear form from the ground right up to the fingertips or even beyond, right up into the cosmos. The body is not created from the physical realm, but from the form giving forces of the universe. Take the hands down again. If you're able to do the next position, the headstand, then do join in. We can think of a vertical form. Otherwise, you can repeat the movement that we've just done with the arms. For the headstand, we can place the arms in a triangle on the floor with your fingers interlocked and place the hands firmly behind the back of your head. The crown of the head is on the mat. Make a vertical line with your back and then come up with your legs. Make a clear vertical line, very clear form. The body is not created from the physical realm but from the form giving forces of the universe. And then take one leg down and the second leg down and come into the pose of the child to relax. And come back up to a standing position. Let's do the first two movements of the cosmic prayer. The beginning lies in the readiness The body is not created out of the physical realm, but out of the form giving forces of the universe. And relax again. Our next sentence comes from the third gesture. 
and it goes, thoughts are forces of light which touch the body at its periphery and then shape its form. And for this sentence, we're going to do the fish and we're going to take a very concrete thought while we do the fish. We're going to picture an arch, a bit like a rainbow, a great big overarching arc that arches over the body from the feet to the head. So to come into the fish, lie down and take your arms right underneath your body with your shoulders as close together as you can. Straighten out your legs. And now before you come into the fish, picture this overarching arc, like a great rainbow going in the direction from head to toe above you. When we come into the fish, we'll come back to our sentence. Thoughts are forces of light which touch the body at its periphery and then shape its form. Stay with that thought of the arch. Come up on your elbows, open up your ribs, open up your chest, tightening in the thoracic spine between the shoulder blades. And finally, you can drop the head back and lower it all the way down onto the floor. Remain with the thought of the overarching arc. This thought is like a force of light that touches the body at its periphery and then shapes its form. And come out of the position again. Come up to a standing position. Let's do the first three movements of the cosmic prayer. The beginning lies in the readiness to grow to a flower. Thoughts are forces of light which touch the body at its periphery and then shape its form. and take the hands down. Our next sentence comes from the fourth gesture and it goes, the soul does not live only within the physical boundaries of the body, but represents a part of the entire cosmos. For this, stage we're going to do the triangle. Stand with your feet wide apart and lift up your rib cage. The solar plexus area is quite active in this position and take your arms freely up through that wide open cosmic space. Just pause and become aware of these three regions of your body, the stable legs, the active lift in your middle, and the spaciousness all around your head. Free breath. Take the hands down again. Let's build up a bit more of an active stretch through one side. Raise your right arm, have your left arm out to the side and now press actively down into your right foot so you can lengthen through the right side, reaching into the space above. Change around. 
Press down through the left foot, grow through the left side, feel your way into the free space above you. Let's repeat that movement again. Firm foot, actively stretch side, free space. Change sides, firm foot, growth in the middle, free open space. Take the hands down. Let's come actually into the whole triangle now. Take both arms up. Take your left arm out to the side. And now press down into the right foot and actively move far out into the space beyond. Return again to the center. Change the arms around. Move down into the other foot and grow actively out into the open space. Return again, change sides, firm base, active stretching in the middle, reaching widely out into the cosmos, change sides again. And return. Take the hands down. Let's come back to our sentence. The soul does not live only within the physical boundaries of the body, but represents a part of the entire cosmos. Let's do the movement twice more on each side. Come right over and reach far out into the cosmos. And change. Soul is part of the entire cosmos. One more time on each side. Very free, light, open movements. And take the hands down through the space. Close your legs. Let's do the first four movements of the cosmic prayer. Remembering that sentence, the soul does not live only within the boundaries of the physical body, but is part of the entire cosmos. The beginning lies in the readiness to grow to a flower, wide open to the light. And just relax. Our next sentence comes from the fifth gesture. So now we're starting to reach the personal experience out of the cosmic experience. And the sentence goes, out of the expansiveness of the left and right polarity and even out of the depth of the space, the awareness for a center in one's own breast is formed. So for this sentence, we're going to do the tree. For the tree, there are various different options of foot position. You can try just resting your toes on the ground if balance is not your strong point. Or you can take your foot a bit higher up onto your calf or your knee. Or you can grab hold of your ankle and then wedge your foot into your thigh. Or if you're able to, you can take hold of the foot, bring the knee back and have the sole of the foot facing upwards, it fits into your groin and it holds itself there a little bit more easily. Just choose one of those four different options, but make sure that you're clear what you're going to do with your foot. And let's try the arm gesture once again, just on its own. We have from the expansiveness of the polarities of left and right, 
we take the hands to a center. I'll just repeat our sentence again. Out of the expansiveness of the left and right polarities, and even out of the depth of the space, the awareness of a center in one's own breast is formed. Take one foot up into your chosen foot position. Take the arms out into the expansiveness and take the hands together to form that center in your own breast. Take the hands down, take the foot down, remain standing in a good vertical upright line and take the other foot up into your chosen position. Open the arms and form the center. Take the hands down and take the foot down. Let's do the first five movements of the cosmic prayer. The beginning lies in the readiness to grow to a flower, wide open to the light, turning to the center and take the hands down. Our next sentence comes from the sixth gesture. So now this sentence talks more about the alertness of the head and it goes, the head remains erect and the senses take in the external world with calm yet active watchfulness. We're going to practice the sitting twist. We're going to start with some preparatory movements for this exercise, which can help with this aspect of the head remaining really erect and alert and watchful. Make a triangle with your arms out. Perhaps I'll face like this, then you can see better. We form a triangle with the head as the tip and the two hands forming the two points. Keeping the head alert, raise your arms and twist to one side and then form the triangle again with the twist in the spine. The head remains erect. Straighten up and twist to the other side. Spine is upright, the head remains erect. Repeat again, always being aware that you have a very upright spine and the head held high above the spine so that your senses can be much more alert and watchful. Change sides again. and come back to the middle and take the hands down. So for the sitting twist, you can either straighten your left leg and bend your right leg, taking hold of the knee with the foot on the other side of the left leg, or if it's possible, you can bend your leg right into your body and take the foot over the other side of the knee. Straighten up your back, keeping the head held really high. The first time we do it, we're going to keep hold of the knee with the left hand, straighten up the right hand and then twist round so that you can keep your back 
as straight as you can. Take the right hand down behind you and then take hold of your knee, hugging it as close into your body as you can. Your head looks over the right shoulder. Once again, let's pay attention to this very upright spine with the head erect. Straighten up again. And take the arms down. And change over to the other side. Either keep your right leg straight and bend your left foot over the knee, or if you're able to, bend that right leg and take the left foot over the knee. Straighten up your back. Head once again really high and erect. Take the arm up and twist to your left. Take the hand over behind you and hug your arm right around your knee. The head remains erect and the senses perceive the external world with calm yet active watchfulness. Straighten up again. Stretch both arms up above your head and then take them down. So we'll do the position once again with the more active and advanced form. I'll just show you this movement first. You can either take your arm right around your leg as you did before, or if you're able to, you can take the arm right over the leg into this more advanced form of the position and you can take hold of the foot or else the knee with the hand. So let's remind ourselves of our sentence. The head remains erect and the senses take in the external world with calm yet active watchfulness. Take the arms up above the head, twist to your right, take a big sweeping circle with your right arm and then stretch up through your left arm and either hug it around your knee or bring it right over the knee. Take hold of the foot or the knee with your hand if you can. Head looking over the right shoulder. The spine is upright. The head is erect and the senses take in the external world with calm yet active watchfulness. Straighten up again, take the arms up above your head and take the hands down. Let's change over to the other side. You can always repeat one of the simpler variations of this asana. Left foot over the right knee, hands around the knee and straighten up your back. Take the arms right up high above your head, keeping the head held up high twist to your left and make a sweeping movement round behind with your left arm, stretch up with your right arm, take the arm either around your knee or else over your knee. Head looks over the left shoulder. Let's become calm. Become aware of your base on the ground, your upright spine. The head remains erect and the senses take in the external world with calm yet active watchfulness.
straighten up again, take the arms up above the head. Take the hands down. Let's do the first six movements of the cosmic prayer. The beginning lies in the readiness to grow to a flower, wide open to the light, turning to the center in appreciation. The head remains erect, the senses take in the external world with calm and active watchfulness. Finally, we come to the last gesture, the devotion. And I want to read one paragraph from the description of this gesture. What do practitioners now offer up at the seventh stage of the movement cycle? What gesture do they depict? It is the body that seems to recede in the face of the greater soul space and the gesticulation of this offering up. Following the appreciation, practitioners gift this knowledge which has been attained from the cosmic prayer to the world. So for our gesture, our position, we're going to do the shoulder stand. And I'd like to take the sentence, the, part, the sentence that goes, it is the body that seems to recede in the face of the greater soul space. The body seems to recede in the face of the greater soul space. So for this position, we want to try and remember that the body is in a greater soul space. And we keep this image around us. It's not just the body. The body is in a greater space. We'll do a few movements to warm up. Just a light movement up. And then back to a sitting position again. We'll do this a few times to get a sense of the body moving up into the space above. Keep the breath flowing freely. Move up into the space. This time let's hold the position there for a little bit longer. You can feel your arms forming a good base on the ground, shoulders on the ground, hands on the ground. Let the body flow up a little bit higher. Come back again. So we become a little bit more active now in this position, stretching up through the spine up through to the fingertips and back down again. Come up once again. Let your breath flow. Shoulders and arms on the ground. Spine rising up. Come back again. Take the arms up above the head and this time raise your legs as well. Come back down, come back into the shoulder stand, rising up, shoulders and arms well placed on the ground. This time clasp your hands and move along the ground with your arms so that you can rise up even more out of your spine. Come back again, come into the balance position, arms above your head. Lengthening through your legs, through the spine. Let's come up into the movement again. Arms on the ground, shoulders. 
spine rises up out of the heart center. And this time you can take your hands onto your back and come up a little bit further. Body comes into a vertical line. Head, shoulders and upper arms rest on the ground. The body flows up, out of the heart center. Come back down again. Just come into the balance, rising up breath flowing and come back down. Let's come back to our sentence. The body seems to recede in the face of the greater soul space. We'll come to a longer holding of the shoulder stand this time and we'll remember that sentence. Make a good base with your shoulders and your arms. Rise up as much as you can out of the heart center and then take your hands onto the middle of your back and straighten up the body. We have a good base, resting calmly on the ground with the head, the shoulders and the upper arms. And the body flows up lightly and gently out of the heart center. We can picture that the body is surrounded by a greater cosmic space. And our sentence goes, the body seems to recede in the face of a greater soul space. Come back down again. And come up to a standing position. Let's do all seven movements of the cosmic prayer. The beginning lies in the readiness grow to a flower, wide open to the light, turning to the centre in appreciation and devotion. The body seems to recede in the face of a greater soul space. finish off. I'm going to go outside again and do the whole of the cosmic prayer out in the open sky. So I'd like to finish off by recapping on the sentence that I quoted at the beginning of this video. The cycle should lead to the forming of self through knowledge of the cosmic and personal experience. Let's finish off then with a few more rounds of the cosmic prayer. The beginning lies in the readiness to grow to a flower, wide open to the light, turning to the centre in appreciation 
and devotion. The beginning lies in the readiness to grow to a flower, wide open to the light, turning to the centre in appreciation and devotion. The beginning lies in the readiness to grow to a flower, wide open to the light, turning to the centre in appreciation and devotion. The beginning lies in the readiness to grow to a flower, wide open to the light, turning to the centre in appreciation and devotion. The beginning lies in the readiness to grow to a flower, wide open to the light, turning to the centre in appreciation and devotion.